morning. So let's have some fun. I'll fuck with you some more. You know, this is the part where you separate yourself from every fucking buddy else. And you don't get it all of my the videos that I make. When I've challenged you, that is not being neutral. N yes, it is. You put me on one pillar. Then you put the other person on the other. Then you go, uh, look how I'm on the middle path. It's the fake middle path I've been teaching about for fucking years. You're, you're doing the most basic version of it that anybody could ever do. You do it in every situation in your life. It's how you get your greatness. You see one thing, then you see the other. You judge them against the other, then you tell yourself how fucking great you are. It's your entire life. It's the only, if you could just see it. But that's the thing that will completely destroy you. Knowing that, wait a minute, you don't know shit, never have, you You've actually equated that to, into your intelligence, that I see one thing, then I see the other, then I judge them against each other, then I stand outside of it and say how fucking great I am. That, that's not real fucking knowledge. That's not really fucking wisdom. Now, what I do is I show you the impossible situations of reality and why war exists. Then you do your same exact thing. You take me, you put me on one pillar, then you take the war that I'm talking about that is a paradox, unsolvable shit. It's why war exists. You take the war, you put that on one pillar, then you judge me against the unsolvable paradox. Then you stand outside of it saying how fucking great you are. I'm showing you shit that is unsolvable and you're trying to use your democratic blue eye of tolerance to go, that's not, n what's not nice? I'm showing, I'm asking you, I'm asking you a question. Hey, can you solve the unpo unsolvable paradox? I'm trying to get you to realize that it exists. I'm, I'm trying to get you to solve it, to realize that you can't fucking solve it, to realize how this world is a broken world. And you sit there going, it's not nice because you, you say to like kill this person or harm this person. What I'm saying is people in Texas fucking carry guns around and if you step on their front yard, they have the legal right to shoot you in your motherfucking face. Then you, you want to somehow take that law the, of be uh, just the one. Let's just take the Texas one of people being able to carry guns and shoot you fucking dead if you fuck up. You want to take that and make it uh, of something on. You want to put me on one pillar, then the guns on the other pillar. Then you're better than every fuck. It, it's the you don't see that I'm showing you shit that enlightens you. Then you judge me against it. Then you then you just sum it up as everything's conspiracy and you're better than every every fucking buddy. And then you have the fucking nerve. The fucking nerve. Same as everybody else I've ever challenged on his or her bull. Where's my beliefs? Dumb fuck. This is the part where you get to be called dumb fuck because you are highly fucked fucking offensive. This is the shit where now you're branding me. Now you're late. I'm a teacher of the mystery school that destroys your belief systems. I take every last one of them and throw them in the trash can. Then you have the motherfucker fucking nerve to say you challenge people on belief systems when you can't even fucking fathom when somebody's asking you a question, you accuse them of shit, you are nothing but beliefs of democratic Nazi shit. Jewish propaganda is feeling your fucking head that rules your life that your ego fucking feeds on, you have the nerve to go up to a teacher of the mystery school that does it for fucking real every single day and say, oh, your, your belief systems, I'll crush your belief systems because I have none. I did so highly fucking offend 
offensive is you? Is it the division between us caused our own clinging? You, you, you have no clue. You think you're on the same level as somebody that teaches people how to walk the middle path. You're stuck between the fucking pillars and shit. And it, it, your whole thing is, no, 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 it's compromise and tolerance. Everybody's already, that's why you're not allowed to know. Because you compromise, everybody's already on the middle path. And it wouldn't be nice, so we're going to turn that middle path right back into the same fucking duality. It might hurt somebody's fucking feelings to do, that's, that's it, isn't it? That's all the fucking shit that you got. You try to come up like you're you're some kind of a teacher like I am. You like is somehow you are fucking equal to me. No, you are in the lower existence of the fucking animals, while I reside in the higher existence. No debate, no opinion, no grandiose shit. No, that I'm better than you. It's the truth. You ice skate. If we, it, I can't. Even, I wish I could think of it. Rockefeller Center. You're ice skating down there with Lucifer while I'm up in the tower, motherfucker. I, I always thought, here's the part where, this is why I brought up this. All of my students know better. They, we've done this a million times. You never fucking learned while we did this because you thought the teaching was for everybody but you because you're already superior to everybody. There's nothing for you to learn. So let's see what my students already fucking know. They would never make a comment to me like that because they know that they w I would come up with this right here and beat the fuck out of them. Of course, I started it on this part because we get our symbolism. Let's have some beautiful shit for the eyes that can fucking see it. Uh, that... How do you love that, eyes that can see it? Isn't the world, it could be such a fucking beautiful place full of so much mystery and wonder and something behind the veil and so much more going on than this world where we bumped our head and we believe that that's the only thing that there fucking is and shit. This is the figure right here where I say this dude is Jesus's nemesis. This is a big, this is a side note on the video. This figure, this is the motherfucker I'm starting to study right here. He, there, he is, why does he have the wisdom he has? He is not allowed to have the fucking wisdom he has. Who is this dude and how is he able to know what he knows while his his ego runs his entire existence. How the fuck is this motherfucker able to access the shit that he's able to access? There's a lot going on in the mysteries with this one fucking figure right here. Is that the true Antichrist? Because that dude fucking mimics Jesus. That dude fucking is like the reflection, the opposite fucking reflection of Jesus and shit. That dude is... he. Watch, watch Jesus of Nazareth, everybody. Watch when this dude manipulates Judas. Every single thing that I've ever taught you on how this game works on using your somebody's ego against them to do something that they would never do, this dude is the master of that fucking game. While he's ruled by the ego, how can you be a master of that game if you're ruled by the ego? If you're ruled by the ego, you can't see that fucking game. And you would have to realize that, yes, you are Judas in this. This is why my students would never do it to me, because they already got petered by it. They already tried to do all of this to me, and they got fucked the fuck up when they saw the truth. They, oh, shit, everything that I thought and everything was fucking wrong. Rabbi, my name is Zera. I'm a scribe of this holy place. And you dream, all, every last one of you dream that I would come off like this guy. 
it's it's all designed that way for you to paint me into a box. Here, here's the dude that you love. Jesus hates this motherfucker. While Judas, while Judas loves it. Ju oh, all of you. Fuck it. When you got shown that you're, oh shit, it's your turn to see how you're Judas. But see, it might be too fucking difficult for you. Your ego is going to go into the same rage. You're going to claim that everybody's equal. You're just, you're the same teacher that I am. Even though if you tried to teach, it would be, eh, just dumb it down because teaching might hurt somebody's fucking feelings. I, like my brethren, have followed your mission with great interest. We have heard good things of you and are glad. But what you have done here today both shocks and surprises us. <laughs> Do you wish to... Oh, what you've done here today shocks us and surprises us because we're, our law is all compromise and nice shit of the ego and all, and we, we just fuck everybody over with a fucking smile and you came up talking some motherfucking truth that oh, we've never heard truth. It, it, it hurts us. Uh, what are you doing, Jesus? Shocks and surprises. And, and I kind of ruin it by talking over it right now. We're, we're going to get to the part where you get to learn that you're a dumb motherfucker. That will be coming up real soon. Do you wish to destroy the sacred temple? The answer, yes. I I was born to destroy that fucking temple. It's my life's motherfucking mission. I know exactly how to fucking do it. The temple is not mere stone. It is the house of God. It cannot be destroyed as long as God lives here. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will make it rise again. Uh, but Rabbi, we're a bunch of literal fucking idiots. We can't understand what the fuck you're saying. It took centuries to build this temple. Do you think you can rebuild it in three days? You said it. But you have not understood. Yeah, you said it, but you're not understood. You know, kind of like all those paradoxes that I present to you, then ask you to solve them. But instead, you persecute me for the questions I ask you. But here it comes. Here it comes. Rabbi. I understand better than you think. Uh, that's definitely you right there. With the guards walking across the top. Rabbi, I definitely understand better than you fucking think and shit. But here, here comes the real, the real part. T tell us all about it, Judas. Tell us all about your grandiose shit. scribe had every intention of greeting you in a friendly manner. He wanted to understand your mission. Was it wise to discourage him? He has one of the most open minds in the Sanhedrin. Open your heart, Judas. Not your mind. Open your eyes and your heart. Now you won't get that because it's a real teaching. It's a teaching that every single person, no matter who you are, your ego will come up with exactly what Judas said. Every single person will do exactly the identical. That's what you did. Jesus' teaching is to teach you that there's another fucking way, not your ego's way of compromising and appeasing. Jesus can see exactly what that scribe is doing. He wants to get him <clears throat> sitting around the round table and talk about compromising shit that is not to be fucking compromised. They'd want to get all gang all up on Jesus, and Jesus sees it. 
Yeah, that's not a bunch of nice shit and all that. And that scribe didn't want to fucking learn fucking anything. He wants to do the same thing that you do. Oh, we're all equals and there was nothing to learn. So let's turn that middle pass shit right back into fucking duality. It'll make everybody fucking happy in their fucking stupidity. My students would never fucking do this to me because they got they already got this treatment. The sad thing is you've are you you've been along for the fucking ride, but you never understood how the teaching was for you. You thought it was for everybody fucking else and shit.